Oh, the candle is not seen only. Hey, Hi. what's up? <laughs> Something is flying there. It's a fly. Hey, what's up? Hi, <laughs> we're back with another sit down video. Yes, today we're going to be answering the most asked questions on our About. comments. Uh, DMs, mm-hmm. everything about VIP yes, and exactly. hostels yeah. and everything. Yeah, in general. So yeah, get some snack, sit with us, and let's chat. Before we start, we would like to tell you guys that we are students. We are fourth year students. We're doing a five year course, so we're not really aware about stuff when it comes to um, admissions yeah. and placements. Mm-hmm. Also, because in our course we don't really need to, exactly. because most of us go for higher studies after this. Yeah. So um, we might not be able to answer most of your admission related questions. So excuse us for yeah. that. And we're actually sitting in the hostel room right now. Yes. If you can't already tell by the background. Yes. And y'all can check out. Our hostel exactly. room tour in our one of our previous videos. Yeah. We'll link that somewhere above. Yeah, you can go watch it. Yeah. And yes, let's get into this video. Also, stay tuned at the end. We're gonna give you guys a little bit of a, ch- a checklist sort of situation yes. for freshers, so that you don't miss anything when you come to campus. We're excited to have you. Can't wait for you to suffer too. All right, so let's get started. The first question is. Which star are the biotech classes in? SMB. Yeah, yeah SMB is the main, yeah. which is the that's where a school of biosciences and technology, which is SBST. Yeah. We all have our classes there, but there are um, some classes in TT and SJT as well, uh, yes. depending upon language or whatever mm-hmm. you choose. And the labs are mainly in TT. Yes, all because all the microbiological stuff only biotech students can understand all organisms. All of that is there. Yeah. The main machines are there in TT, mm-hmm. so that's why. And uh, don't ask us the full form for SMB because it's very complicated. No, I know, I know. Yeah, it's Shri M. Vishwesh. Visheshwara. <laughs> no, Vishweshwara here or something Ooh. like that. Okay, I think. But then everyone just calls it SMB, yeah, and if exactly. you ask around, you'll know yeah. where it is. It's like a big ass tank if you've seen like in our videos and stuff. Mm, it's yeah. the PT only SMB is there, so that's like the biotech branch. Yes. Generally in SMB, you find. One thousand girls and like two three boys. That's why <laughs> SMB is like super famous and all the guys from like yeah. mechanical <laughs> no girls they come and you know um, they hang the out yeah. in SMB. I was gonna say look at girls. Here. <laughs> How is the mess food? Okay, so that depends on your caterers because yeah. different blocks, as in different hostel blocks, have different caterers. Mm-hmm. So A and B have the same caterers. That is Shri Sai Sabri thingy. Mm-hmm. For us, it's a different caterer. That is the apartment, not apartment thing. And as me also, you have different. S R R C. Yeah, S R R C. Exactly. And then um, the special mess has like yeah, a different caterer. Exactly. The special mess has different. Ca- the people of the special mess <laughs> they have different caterers. Yes. It depends. Okay, like some people yeah. have. Better food, yeah. other people. I mean, we personally enjoy the food right yes, now. It's good. We have no comments about the food before, but mm. right now our food is pretty good. So yeah. we do go to the mess way more often than we used. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we spent so much money when we were here for two months. Mm-hmm. Those after the reopening. On on food outside, exactly, like yeah. swiggy and stuff. Yeah. But now it's good. Like you don't you won't have a problem because the variety is more. Like in other mm. colleges, you have like. Gunda pani wala dal and shit. Yeah. But you know, your and the variety is good. The only thing is the dal is the same. They yeah. just name different thing. Lassuni. What is that? Punch mela. Punch mela. Yellow dal. Hmm. Yellow dal is good. Okay. Oh, there's Maharaja and Maharani. <laughs> Maharani and all of them. No, Maharani. Maharaja. Maharani Me. is the one, dal. Okay, one of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the next question is, what is the bathroom situation for apartment styles? How the stalls are and stuff. I think we already mentioned this once, but then um, the bathroom is. One common bathroom shared by three or four rooms yes. max. So the stalls there'll be like three stalls for the bathroom and um, three stalls for the toilet and stuff. Yeah. So it's pretty chill. It's clean all the time. They clean it like multiple times a day. So it's not uh, you know un- unhygienic or anything. Exactly. It also depends upon the people using it. Obviously, our bathroom is pretty clean. So we see that other room people are also coming and using us, which is which is if you don't use it, okay, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> we keep it clean, okay. If you're like in the other blocks, that's when you're supposed to carry the bucket and all yeah. that. We have hot water inside. Yeah, itself. we have hot water. That's yeah. the problem that we had last time exactly. also. That the hot water was like common outside, yeah. so we had to take the bucket and walk all the way until the stall, yeah. which is a little inconvenient. Yeah. And that is that bathroom is shared by everyone on the floor, oh. so it's not clean at all. Never. Morning, it's never. Morning, morning. Darshan will be there. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite question. <laughs> Answer I'll give. Are there any dress code guidelines that we need to maintain? Okay, so first of all, the rule book doesn't have any dress code guidelines. The only guidelines for girls are that you're not supposed to wear shorts or above knee length wala stuff. 
outside the hostel okay mm-hmm. so you can wear your shorts inside whatever wear pajamas whatever you want to wear okay yeah. and but the wardens over here have a huge issue with whatever you wear here as in the apartment non apartment exactly. blocks because we've lived outside in the normal yeah. blocks and they don't have much of an issue exactly but here That's they're right. very strict they stop you they'll ask you to go freaking change your clothes and stuff but then um, see what you can do for that is just carry a jacket, jacket or yeah. something go outside take it off okay it exactly. doesn't matter when you're in the campus it's chill actually yeah so just be a little careful when you go around and you pass the warden's office otherwise it's pretty chill ripped jeans crop top Yeah, <laughs> like whatever you want. Are hostel students allowed to go outside campus for some time? The good news is yes, we are, and it started like last week, right yeah. before our first CAT exam. Because of COVID situation, they weren't allowing at all yeah. girls go. Mm-hmm. Boys could go at any time because here it's really chill for boys. You can do whatever you want; it doesn't really matter. We weren't allowed to go anywhere except if you like say bank or something, and you yeah. write the note. One hour they let you go out. <laughs> But right now, um, during the weekdays, two hours, I think you can go yeah. outside, yes, and yes. but then you can only go once. So like, if yeah. you go out, come back, then you can't go again. That Correct. day, that is still the same only. And weekends, you can go out four hours, so you know you can go out with your friends, have food. Have There isn't many yeah. like places to visit as such, except the fort and all. But yeah. so you can go out and have food and have fun. So yeah. good company. Yes. So you'll have fun. Are there any restrictions for going home during the initial months? Okay, so we'll tell you our case. So when we came here during first year, first three months we weren't allowed to go out at all. Now we don't know girls. how. Girls. Yes, girls. We don't know how they're gonna, you know, what tools they're gonna come up with for the freshers. Mm-hmm. So we really don't know. They just let us go out right now. So maybe they might or might not let you go out. You know, it depends completely yeah. on how they wanna, you know, implement the rules for y'all. And I think it's pretty much the same for UG and yeah, PG because exactly. we had a PG uh, roommate yeah. initially, and even she couldn't go exactly. out as, as far as I remember. Mm, yeah. So the next question is how would clothes washing work? So basically, here there are laundry services. Okay, in every block there are laundry services, and they'll they're pretty fast also. Or you can also wash your own clothes. It's not a problem. problem and you can hang it there are places to hang your clothes as well so yeah washing is pretty chill and the thing is if you're staying in the hostel anyway you are paying for laundry services exactly. it is included in your fees so you might as well just make use yeah. of it because there are around 44 washes for the entire yeah. year so in one week you can give twice yeah. there's no limit for clothes is there i think 25 or something you can yeah. give but that only is too much it's not yeah. like yeah it's not in vibe to to wash your clothes <laughs> the next question is about the english proficiency test So uh UG PG for us we had like an English proficiency test so that you could categorize students into general English as well as um beginners, beginners English, English yeah. exactly English for beginners or something for um Inge- engineering students they have a foundation english and yeah they uh, have a lot so system. basically english courses are kind of compulsory for exactly. everyone you have yeah. to do it cuz they want to know which level you are in so that you can get the necessary yeah. uh, course That yeah. is why they have the English proficiency test, and you also, if you're doing B Tech, I think you have an aptitude test as well. Yes. So we do not have that. So. Yeah, we're lucky that we because we're by Tech five years. Yes. Which hostel do you prefer, apartment or normal? Honestly. Apartment or normal? We prefer yeah. apartment, but obviously exactly. there are a lot of factors that yeah, go into this. Yeah, definitely. Okay. See, the so. cost is extremely high for apartment as yep. compared to the normal type. So you know, don't you know pressurize or force your parents to like you know. Put you in here and you know sign you up for apartment yeah. because it is expensive. We are in our fourth year and it's the last year, so we thought that you know we'll co- live comfortably and go. Comfortably <laughs> and go. <laughs> the thing yeah. is also like it depends on the mess choice as well yeah. because special mess is extremely high in terms of fees. Yes. Non veg mess is okay, okay only, and veg mess is like better, obviously. Yeah. And also like apartment, there is apartment, non apartment. Apartment is insanely costly, okay? Yeah. Because you also get like a common area outside yeah. of your room exactly. that you know nobody else will enter, so it's pretty chill. You can chill there with your yeah. friends. And normal, see, it's not bad, bad. I'm not saying that the normal ones are bad. They're good. You can adjust, and if you can adjust, and just go for it, like you know. And there aren't many beds available too, so you might end up over there. So you know. It's not account. bad yeah. at all. Exactly. See, for us it was really fun because our roommates were all fun. Okay, yes. Yeah. 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 Videos. <laughs> so let us talk about the hostel beds also. Like there's yeah. single bed, four yep. bed, six bed. So yeah. here I think there's only six bed four bed yeah which mm-hmm. is okay yeah. I mean we had four people so it was not a problem yeah. for us 
but then if you are three people or something i think you might have to go for other blocks two exactly. bed two all bed that exactly two bed or three yeah. bed like yeah. depends Single bed, I personally would not suggest you take because I took single bed last for the two months. You guys can watch our move-in video yeah. from, from the two months we were here. Mm. But then, if you prefer the quiet, if you want to study without any disturbance, now I'm pretty sure single bed is only best. Yeah. Okay, the next question is how are the placements for MSc Integrated Biotech and what are the class timings? We have no freaking idea how uh, the placements are, but then people are getting placed. We know seniors have gotten placed, but then generally in our course, not a lot of people sit for placement. Instead, they do higher studies exactly. or you know, PhD, yeah. anything, literally anything yeah. other than places. <laughs> so we don't know. Uh, companies that come over here, we have doctor IDs and all. They come yeah, for the, placements and yeah. take. But then for MSc, for B Tech, B Tech, it's good. For BTEC, MSc, that's is, also yeah. because you get a lot of hands-on training exactly. in B Tech. And people who do MSc integrated might you know end up like probably a teaching position or exactly, something like yeah. that. There are good companies coming in, like yeah. she said, mm -hmm. but then I don't know how many people get in and stuff. Yeah. Like, But those you have to study it. really hard. Yeah. Those who got in, congratulations. We yes. love you. This is my favorite question. Okay, <laughs> is VID strict about girl-boy interaction? What about PDA guards? First, let me tell you. Like our vice friend Shivani said, <laughs> <laughs> it is okay if you're in a relationship, but if you're just friends, then big. you hug someone. Wow, wow, wow. The biggest problem in the entire universe. Okay, they will start whistling all around you. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Those are the PDA guards, or in our um, language, the red tag guards. <laughs> So that's because they wear like a red ID card and they exactly. walk around and stuff and they whistle. <laughs> it's not it's that. It's that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> But oh it's the God. actual. It's the actual whistle, whistle. They'll come and like blow the whistle, blow the whistle mm -hmm. in your ears. Yeah, all so. the time. Even if it's not in time, they will start blowing the whistle. Especially during in time. Yeah. Around eight ke baad, like around eight ten and all, they'll start whistling because girls' ke liye in time is eight thirty in the yeah. hostel, which sucks. I know. But still, I mean, it's not a problem. It's basically. not a problem. Yeah. Do whatever you want with your college life. Just enjoy. It. Yeah. But don't get pregnant. The question is: Is Wi-Fi available? Do we need extension cords? Uh, Wi-Fi is obviously available. We have like a router inside the room itself, so like it's pretty chill. But then. Sometimes randomly at night they will switch off. Yeah, okay? it's so irritating. Especially when we have nothing to do the yeah. next day and we're like planning to stay up all night and watch movies. Correct, they will switch it off. Okay, but like, it's pretty fast and it works. Yeah, properly. it's yeah. it's fun fun things. <laughs> <laughs> Extension cords, yes, you do need. It. Especially if you're living in the non-apartment apartment type, four tables, totally four uh, plug, plug points. points. So you need extension cords, especially if your bed is on the other side of the room. Yeah. You need it to read. So if you're watching something on, you know, yeah, on your bed, yeah, keeping yeah, exactly. the laptop. But the other room, the B block wala room, right? Usme when it's a normal type, you have a plug point for each bed. So if you're in a yeah. bunk bed, tingi like a situation, you have a plug point right next to your bed. So you don't have to like worry. That's true. That but also, bed. if you need to connect your charger, phone, all of it, yeah, I mean, laptop charger, yes, phone yes. charger, all of it, then it's better yeah. to just bring it. Exactly. Just in only case. like one device you can connect. Yeah. One time. Me. That's the whole. Situation. While we're on the topic of electronics, I would also like to mention that you're not allowed to bring any electric yes. stuff. Please don't bring kettles and straighteners and then. Um, See, all we're saying is, if you bring it, hmm. you should learn to hide it. Bring at your own risk. That's exactly. All. So, all mart and then eating places in BID shops and hostel etc. So, there's all mart which has everything. Mm -hmm. It is. We eat, went today. Everything. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so everything is there. You'll get. All the items, laundry bag, bucket, mug, everything. Because you don't have to worry at all. Mehndi tak we got exactly. today. Exactly. The so. most basic things you'll get in Walmart. Yeah. And in that shops, every hostel has a shop, a small shop for snacks and stuff. I mean, you you won't get all the items, items as such, yeah. but. Snacks, but whatever stock. you need, like so suddenly you're hungry or something, you can. Yeah. At night it won't it won't yeah, be open. Yeah, exactly. But it's otherwise, nine o'clock is max, like yeah. any shop opening. But then, uh, boys have a huge thing. Boys, so, see the boys hostel. Yeah. The whole boys hostel ka premise is bigger than the campus. Campus, is what exactly. We think. Yeah, it's, so, it's a society. It's a yeah, beautiful it's society. a beautiful place. Yeah. The boys hostel has like a lot of all of the different restaurants and stuff amazing. inside also. Girls hostel does the F block, E block, yes. that place it does. So even SJT has one the um that uh, canteen jaisa kuch hai wahan pe that is there There I mean, are a lot of yeah, see, wherever you go in the campus there are eateries you can go to places there are Nescafes are there like yeah, 100 Nescafes are there, there. in the campus 
and so, even Domino's is there inside the campus. Yep. Then GDNK pass there's this uh, cafe canteen kind of a thing. You can sit there. Eat. The yeah. same food is there in FC, FC and that yep. place. So it's gonna, it's nice. It's very. And good. FC food's also very oh, good. Yeah. Like Hi, you know. Rice. They should sponsor us, no? FC, yeah. Yeah. Are parents allowed inside the hostel? No, that's the simple <laughs> answer. So see. So if there's the hostel gate and then like the hostel block entrance is here, the parents can come inside the gate and all, and they can like be there. Yeah. But you can't come inside the block even while shifting. But then here people will help the um, exactly. akkas and all who are here. They'll help you. Yeah, you have trays and all, like trolley yeah. trays. Everything is there. So yeah, you're supposed to move in on your yeah, own basically, exactly. or take the help of your friends and all. Yeah. But yeah, parents are not really allowed inside. They can sit yeah. outside the block. Yeah, they outside the block. The, yeah, there, there are benches and stuff. They yeah. can sit there, but otherwise, yeah. No, Rooms and all they cannot see. You have to show them your video call or something. Exactly. Only. Okay, so holidays in VIT. Um, so there are a couple. So we summer vacation is obviously given around two and yeah. a half months. We proper two and, and a half months. Ah, two months. Two like months, this yeah. time we had because you know we yeah. had a continuous exactly. you know, schedule and then That's we had right. like two and a half we had months. Good. Uh, Some yeah. And the Valley you will obviously get. So initially we had only like three day, one day for the Valley. That's just what they the do. Valley, that's Always. And then they extended it to nine days now. So yeah. there's like an extension. But for Navratri and all, there is no holiday. And apart from that, public holidays like Ganesh Chaturthi, Moharam, all these yeah. things you'll get. Another thing that I want to mention: Hatal, uh, what is that? Bharat Band. No holidays, yeah, okay. No matter what, whatever flood, anything, we're yeah, coming. They'll keep college. You have to go. This is so. a separate world, okay. VIT yeah. is one world, and outside is another world. So when you go out, you're moving from one world to another world. <laughs> That's the whole situation here. Okay? So they don't care what's going on outside. Yeah. They will do what they want. Mm -hmm. It's time to bring out our checklist. Yes. Actually, your checklist. It's just a list that yeah. we've made. First and foremost. Do not forget your documents because without that you can't enter hostel. Yeah. Okay, so if you're if you are a hosteler, you have a lot of documents that you're supposed to submit. First is um government ID, some age proof, something. See the thing is you don't have to worry about it because right before joining they'll give you a checklist exactly. of documents that you have to yeah. bring. So you need your other. Keep your Aadhaar card only with always. you. It's always better that way. But also carry a few copies in case you have to submit anywhere. Yeah. 10th and 12th grade mark sheet is important also keep copies of that because i think they they collect your 10th grade ka yes. uh, copy and 10th uh, 12th grade ka actual thing only yeah. they collect Originally they take it and yeah so um, that make sure you bring it and from your school you'll get your transfer certificate and migration yes. certificate these are also important don't forget that then you have to fill your student profile it's an option on vtop so go ahead and fill that okay and then affidavit by student very important you have to you it. have to get it notarized exactly. so you have to wait here yeah. in line for the notary there's a huge line yeah, always it's, it's a huge so line. you don't want and it's very hot guys i'm not even kidding like we are literally like sweating 24/7 yeah. I mean, unless we're in the room and obviously parent affidavit also if you have a local guardian somewhere here yes. you need a local guardian affidavit as well mm. then there is hostel affidavit very important the moment you enter the hostel the first thing you're supposed to that you're supposed to submit is your hostel affidavit get it notarized again then physical fitness certificate lot of um what is that vaccinations you're yes. supposed to take you Every need it you'd get it signed and stuff yes. if you don't take it from home you can get it from here as well then obviously passport size photos this is very important, very important okay. especially lots. for the mess yes lots yeah uh, carry at least 10 to 12 with you okay yeah. you might you never know when you will need it okay so that's there you can all, there's also a small photo that photo taking mala shop what is it called where Pat. is it in the piche piche was outside, outside the yeah. campus i think it's outside uh, yeah. i think next all oh, ah next all mart next to all mart yeah. there's this small shop where they'll you know check photos then your covid 19 vaccination certificate very important now you Double also need your booster, booster. exactly uska certificate is not there but get get your booster shot um then additional documents that is needed from like nri students so pe people from like bangladesh and all comment on our video that's very sweet thank yeah, you hi. and uh, <laughs> yeah a big hi now electronics obviously you need a laptop all your um you know assignments are digitalized as in you might have to write and scan it but it's digital you have to upload it on vtop all your um course page may you'll have all your uh, ppts and everything everything is uploaded online yeah. so it's better to have your laptop so chargers obviously for laptops and stuff bring a power bank just in case carry headphones earphones yeah, whatever pods, whatever you want yeah and like we mentioned before extension cords yeah. it's better to carry it anyway now for extremely important thing taking a bath you need a bucket and a mug there are no showers here so you leave your bougie at home and here take a bath with bucket and you mug. get the but don't bring bucket yeah, and mug okay don't yeah. bring it from home because that's going to be a huge pain yeah. to bring uh, but you can buy it when you come here itself the beds the buckets everything you get yeah. to buy in the stores near the hostel exactly. itself so that's not a problem yeah so that's needed then hand 
and shower towel. Obviously, you need a shower towel. Then soaps and shampoo. Okay, very basic. Okay, then brush and toothpaste. Again, a very important thing. And face wash, sunscreen, all of these things. Washing powder because you're washing clothes. All right. Uh, so the next for the bed and stuff, the mattress and the pillows you get to buy in the shops here. So you you don't have to bring that. Please don't bring your mattress oh from God. home. Bring uh, blankets, bed sheets, pillow covers, and everything. So masks and sanitizers. Now nobody wears masks. And then water bottle. Of course, you need to stay hydrated, guys. And then nail cutter and comb. To comb hair and cut nails. <laughs> Medicines, yeah. yeah. Honestly, you get everything, everything here. So yeah, that's pretty much the other stuff that we were talking about. And the final question is. Is, is VIT, VIT worth it? it? <laughs> See, personally, for me, I wanted to get into VIT. It's mm -hmm. because I didn't want to do two separate courses of B BSc, MSc. Yeah. I just wanted to finish it off one go. And VIT, I think, offered the best, um, yeah. you know, five-year integrated course when it came to biotech. I found my best friends here, mm -hmm. so it's worth it for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like because we have fun. Yeah. Studies are also okay, okay. Only it's not that bad, or it's not that good also. Yeah. So it's just. So I think for me, it's yeah. Worth it. Worth it. Yeah. yeah, I would say it's worth it too. Like initially when I came to VIT, I just see a, similar to her reason. Even I thought I'll finish five year course together, but also around me people said that VIT is best for biotech and all of that. So I was like, okay, let's just join in here. And you know, it was. It was like okay. So when I came the first day, it felt like home when I entered the room because I found these people, you know. And that's when you know that. <laughs> You will find your group of weirdos. Don't be scared. Just yeah. come, arm se enjoy. And you guys are lucky because all four years, hopefully, you will get in college. Unlike ah. us, we have this is our basically our second year in mm. college um, because and COVID. Yeah. Alrighty, so that's it for today's video. If there are any more questions, you can obviously put them in the comment section below. We will answer them via the comment section. And um, yeah. Yeah, and we. Have already answered a set of questions in the description, which is like the basic stuff about VIT. So if you have, you can also check it out. So if your questions are not in the list, like she said, just leave it in the comment section. Yes. We'll get to you. If not immediately, then in like two days max, yeah. <laughs> because we always check our marks. Yeah. So. And if you see us on the this thing, you no, know, in campus, come and say hi to us. Yeah. We really like it. Okay, so yeah. yeah. To all our friends who are going back home. We we'll miss you guys. <laughs> And for everyone watching, we'll see you guys next time. Tab tak bye bye. Take care. Bye. Can you see that I'm falling? Oh, I'm so proud that you know the songs. Why don't we? <laughs> Why don't these bad now? They split up. Ah, uh, that's what. Mm. As in, they took a break. That's what they say. Yeah. But I think they split up. It's so cute. I love the ending.